Hey guys, Q&A number 11. Let's do it. First question is, what supplements do you use? So my, I have a few staples and then other things that I throw in here and there, but I'm not a huge supplement guy. I don't go overboard on supplements, but my essentials are vitamin D3. Make sure it's D3, not D2 if you're going to take it. Um, that's depending on sun exposure. So during the summer, I usually don't take it because I get outside a ton. Um, and the other one, if I'm not eating much salmon or fatty fish, I'll go with an omega-3 capsule. If I am eating it, say, two to three times a week, then I'll skip it. Another one is zinc that I take pretty consistently. By no means you have to, but it's, uh, it's called the manly mineral, or some people call it the manly mineral, and it just helps with um, some, you know, testosterone, sleep, stuff like that. And then also magnesium, I take it as needed, uh, magnesium citrate. So if you are going to take magnesium, it helps with, it's called the anti-stress mineral. And um, it helps with sleep, it helps with some insulin regulation, stuff like that. Um, again, another one that you don't have to take, but if you so choose to. So I take it as needed or as I feel like um, maybe I'm a little more stressed out than usual or something like that, I might add it in. Uh, number two is what's my favorite form of exercise so favorite form of exercise is would be probably playing a sport um, but as far as an everyday quote-unquote exercise deal I'd say walking walking makes me feel the best it's essential for me and I get it in every single day because I just don't feel the same without it if I'm super sedentary I'm lying around a lot I just my body starts to tighten up and things just start to get a little funky so my, I don't look at walking necessarily as exercise, but uh, if we're looking at it uh, from like a movement standpoint, that has got to be my favorite thing besides a sport just because uh, the sports that I like to play, football and basketball, um, kind of need other people to be involved and then the weather has got to be suited too. So uh, it would be walking. Number three is, is my body type set in stone? So... Not necessarily. We can't change things like bone structure. Uh, your bones are your bones. You're not going to make somebody with you know tiny little wrists uh, if if you change a bunch of things like nutritionally or you know if they start weight training, their bones aren't going to beef up a ton. You can build muscle and things like that, but as far as the way you're built from bone structure, that's not anything that you can shift. You can't you know widen or narrow your hips if you, if you wanted to those that stuff is set in stone but as far as like a quote unquote body type there are three typical body types one would be an ectomorph which is someone who stays super lean uh, or, or on the kind of the skinnier end a mesomorph would be like that athletic hourglass look and then an endomorph would be someone who accumulates body fat a little bit easier but the example that I give is if you look at my transformation photo my before and my after on my website if you looked at the first picture alone you would assume that I was an endomorph um, but if you looked at my second picture you might say I'm more on the the ecto slash meso front so a lot of times it's just your your body type is where you're at at the time and and we can all change body fatness or muscle and things like that so it's not necessarily those things are set in stone but your lifestyle habits are going to reflect where your body's at at the time so you can change it you absolutely can but bone structure on the other hand um you know that's not changing so that's it for now uh three quickies and if you have any questions for future q a's hit me up and i uh, hope you enjoyed this thanks a lot see ya